The United States began using military working dogs during World War II. Today, man's best friends are playing an important role in the war in Afghanistan. Petty Officer 2nd Class Stephanie Durazo and Petty Officer 2nd Class Rodney Erickson are stationed at Ford Operating Base Fenty with their dogs, Rico and Dolly. Rico and I, we travel around to the different uh, fogs and go on different missions looking for uh, any kind of IEDs or HME labs, anything that we can find to prevent another convoy or another team of patrolling, setting off an IED. Basically what we're doing right now is we're doing a, like a random vehicle inspection. We'll run the dog through the vehicle first to look for you know contraband or anything that they're not supposed to have. The more uh, HME labs we find, the more HME we find before they're able to make IEDs, the safer we keep everybody. Um, basically we have to train so often to keep up the dog's proficiency levels. We want to make sure that they are on top of everything, that they don't forget the odors. We do spend a lot of a long hours training the dogs, but it eventually pays off in the end, so a lot, you know, hard work equals fun. This is her reward. It's a Kong. Rico doesn't work for paycheck, he works for my affection and his toy. So if we don't have that bond, then he's less likely to work for me, he's less likely to want to work. To, to him it's all game. And if it's not fun, if he doesn't want to be around me, he doesn't have that bond with me, then he's less likely to work and to find the things that I need him to find. Although the dogs may see it all as a game, the work they are doing here in Afghanistan is helping to keep Americans and Afghans safe. From Eastern Afghanistan, I'm Army Sergeant Jennifer Spada.